Hey guys, this is Jordan Hetrick. I'm going to show you how to get started with your Hero 4 session. This is GoPro's first cube shaped camera and it's also their smallest camera yet. So I'm going to first show you how to set your camera up and also I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box so you can get started with your new camera. So let's get into it. The session is probably the easiest camera to set up yet so let's just get out of the box here first by just pulling these two tabs here and lifting the camera out of the box. Pull off this little tape here. And lift off the top piece. Then you can just slide your camera right out of this display mount here by squeezing these two tabs together and pushing the camera forward out of this mount. Under here is where all the goodies are that came with your camera. So you can just open that up, lift this up, and take out all the paperwork here. There's a quick start guide and some stickers. And then you can open this up, and this is all the mounts. You can get all this stuff out. So here are all the mounting accessories that came with your camera. I'm going to go through each one of these individually in a minute, but I just want to let you know what they are just to get started. This here is the low profile frame. And this is your camera. It's in the standard frame with the mounting buckle. And it's attached with a short thumb screw here. And this is the ball joint buckle. And I'll show you what that's for. And this is the vertical mounting buckle. Another extra short thumb screw. A white locking plug. A USB cable for connecting your camera to your computer and charging. This is a flat adhesive mount and a curved adhesive mount. So first let's get your camera set up and then we'll go through all these different pieces. The first thing you want to do is insert a micro SD card into your camera. You need to purchase this separately and the session requires a class 10 or a UHS-1 micro SD card up to 64 gigabytes. And this stores your camera's files. To insert the micro SD card you can do it while the camera is still in the frame here. Just go to the side of your camera and there's a little tab here. Slide that down and the door will pop open. The bottom slot is for the micro SD card. So take the micro SD card with the writing so it's facing the bottom of the camera and slide it into that slot. The slot's kind of angled down so that they had to fit it in this little camera. And then you just push it down with your thumbnail until it snaps in place. And then you can uh, close the door. Make sure that tab slides back over. On the back of the camera here is the info wireless button. You can push that button and it'll tell you your camera's status, tells settings, as well as the battery charge. This one has a very low charge. Sometimes they come with a little more battery, so you can't actually use it. The lithium ion batteries don't have a memory charge, so you can start using it. But I'm going to go ahead and charge this camera so that we can get it updated and charged and start using it. The Hero 4 Session comes with a built-in battery, so to charge your camera, Take the USB cable that came with your kit and insert it into the USB port on your camera. Open this little tab here and the door will open. And you can insert the cable into this small slot. And then insert the other end of the USB cable into a USB charging device such as your computer or another USB power source. And when this camera starts charging, you'll see the red light come on. When the camera's done charging, that red light will turn off. When you're charging your camera with a computer, you can't actually use it while it's charging. But if you're using an external USB power supply like this one, you can actually use your camera just like normal while it's charging. So you could record a video or take time-lapse photos while it's charging. Once the light is turned off and your camera is finished charging, you can just remove the USB cable and then close this side door. Now you can check to make sure the battery charged by pushing the info wireless button. And on the status screen here, you should see a full battery. Next I want to show you how to connect to the GoPro app and there's two reasons for this. One is that you can use the GoPro app to control your camera, access additional modes and also like erase files and format your camera's memory card. And the second reason is that the app will automatically update your camera's firmware and GoPro has released some new firmware that allows you to change some of the settings for video and time lapse mode on your camera. So we're going to go ahead and connect to the app. So just go to your app store if you don't already have the GoPro app on your phone. Just go to the App Store and you can search GoPro and this is the app, GoPro app and it's free. And just go ahead and download that to your device. Once the app finishes downloading, just go ahead and open the app. And you can say OK. And then go here to connect your camera. And it's asking what device you'd like to connect. Go for the Hero 4 session. This is the first time you've connected it, yes. Now it says cycle the wireless control menu on your camera and select app, and then tap continue below. So grab your camera here, 
push the back info wireless button, push it again, and you'll see select wireless control app. Push the top shutter button to select and go into pairing mode. And then push continue on the app here. Now it's giving you a pin code here. So enter that pin and click pair. So go ahead and give your camera a name. Let's call it my session. So enter a password, make sure it's eight characters and then you can click done. Now you just want to connect your Wi-Fi to your device. So exit out of the app, go to your settings, go to Wi-Fi and look for your camera that you just named. Enter the password and then click join. And you'll see that your camera is connected to your phone through Wi-Fi. So now you can exit out of your settings and go back to the app. Click on the app and tap on your camera here, my session. So now it's connected. If it doesn't connect automatically, just tap on it, it'll connect. So now tap on it and it's going to open up the dialog. And it's saying a camera update available. So you're going to want to update your camera. This is what gives you the op option to change settings on your camera. So just click update, accept and continue. Now your camera is going to begin the update process. You can push pause on this video until your camera finishes updating and then come back. When your camera's finished updating, it'll say all set, it'll say updates complete, and you can just click done. So from here you can just click on the camera name and it'll open up the dialog with your camera so you can you start using the app with your camera. And I'm going to do another video on how to use the app, but uh, basically I just want to show you that this is how you view your media, this is how you record, this is how you change your modes and access the other modes on your camera, and this is how you access the settings menu. And now that we're done updating your camera, I'm going to go ahead and have you turn your camera off. Just press the power off button here, and you can exit out of the app. If you decide you're going to use just the remote and not the app for some reason, you can update your camera through GoPro's website on the support page. Now the Wi-Fi is left on since you're connected to the app, so you can go ahead and turn that off by pushing the Info Wireless button here. Press it until you see the camera status screen and then press it again and again and then press the top shutter button to turn Wi-Fi off. That'll turn the Wi-Fi off for right now unless you want to be using it. So directly on the camera you can access two of the modes which are video and time lapse mode and those will end up being your default modes for photo and video just because of the accessibility and you can also change some of the key settings for those two modes after you update your camera you can change those settings on the camera any of the other modes you got to use the gopro app or the smart wi-fi remote to access to record a video is really simple you just press the top shutter button and the video will start recording in a few seconds and you can see the time counter there, it's recording a video. Push the top shutter button again and it'll stop recording. And your camera will power down. To take time lapse photos, hold down the shutter button. GoPro says for about three seconds, I like to hold it until it starts taking photos. And you can see on the counter here that it's taking photos. And right now it's set to take one photo every half second, is the default setting. Push the shutter button again and it'll turn off and your camera will power down. Now I want to show you what the camera status screen displays. So push the info wireless button back here to turn on the camera status screen. Now there's the video settings, your current video settings, your current time lapse settings. And it also gives you an option to change your settings now. I'll push it again to bring it back up. It flashes kind of quickly. So if you don't push it when you're on it, you can just push it again. Screen will highlight. You can push it again to go straight to settings. Video and time lapse settings, push the top shutter button, and here's how you can change your settings. You scroll through the different options by pushing the back info wireless button. And I'm going to go to 30 and just change, push the top shutter button. Let's just change it to 1080 60. That's a good go to setting. If you want to change the time lapse settings, when you're in the settings menu, you push the top shutter button where there's a video icon. That'll switch it over to the time lapse icon. And you can scroll through the options by pushing the info wireless button here. You could change the time interval, for example, to one second by pushing the top shutter button. And then scroll over to done, push that, and it'll turn off on its own. Now let's go ahead and take the camera out of the frame. Uh, you can remove this little tab here, it says remove. That was just for packaging so that it didn't tilt backwards in the packaging. 
So just unscrew the thumb screw here. It can be a little tight at first when they package it. Then this little piece will just slide out. And you can just get rid of that. You don't need that for anything. And you can go ahead and put the thumb screw back in. Screw that on. And to remove the camera from the frame, you just lift this little tab on the side here. And that loosens it. And then you push the camera forward and slide it right out. So this is the session camera all by itself without the frame. Uh, it's really cool little camera that it's waterproof all on its own so you can just grab it and you can go. It's always ready to go in the water. The session comes with two frames to hold your camera so you can mount it. This is the standard frame with the mounting attachment on the bottom and the low profile frame with the mounting pieces on the back. To insert your camera into the frame you just slide it in backwards and close the latch. It's real simple. Now you just want to be aware of the orientation of your camera. Make sure the shutter button is at the top of your frame or at the bottom of your frame so you don't record a sideways video. So if you do turn your camera sideways the way it's mounted, you can always rotate your camera so that the shutter button is at the bottom. Now that you have your camera in a frame, you can attach it either directly to some of the mounts, like this one has an attachment piece here, or to a mounting buckle that is then inserted into a mount. When you're attaching your camera to one of the mounting buckles or to a mount, you just slide these tabs in between the slots and insert the thumb screw, tighten it in place, and then your camera is attached. The tighter you go, the less it's going to rotate back and forth. Both of the frames can be used with any of the buckles, although typically the low profile frame is used with the vertical mounting buckle and the ball joint buckle. Here's the standard frame with the mounting buckle, and you can see you can rotate it forward or back depending on the angle you want to get. Here's the low profile frame with the vertical mounting buckle and you can see it's a real low mounting setup and you can also flip it 180 degrees which is really nice for different angles. Now here's the low profile frame with the ball joint buckle. The ball joint buckle allows you to make small changes in the camera's angle to adjust horizon. You can also flip the camera backwards like you did with the vertical mounting buckle. There's really so many mounting options with these frames and the buckles. Uh, I've covered more of them in my books. It's a little hard to cover all of them in this short video. So you can check out my book if you want more ideas and inspiration on how to mount your camera. Another thing to be aware of is that the session, like all the other GoPros, doesn't float, which can be kind of cool if you set it on the bottom of the pool or something for a cool angle, as long as you know where to find it. But if you're worried about it coming off in the water and sinking to the bottom, then the GoPro made this floaty, which helps it float. And you can just insert the whole frame into it. You kind of just wedge it into there. It works with both of the frames and that way your camera will float if it comes off in the water. Your camera also comes with two adhesive mounts. This is the flat adhesive mount with the rounded corners and the curved adhesive mount with the square corners. And the flat adhesive mount just means that it's flat on the bottom so for adhering to flat surfaces. And the curved adhesive mount has a curved bottom which is better for mounting to a helmet or other curved surface. These mounts are good for adhering to semi-permanent locations where you want to have a mount set up and an easy spot to slide your camera in. Once you've let the mount cure and you've got a strong bond on the surface, you can insert your camera. I've got the low profile frame here on the vertical mounting buckle. And the vertical mounting buckle and the ball joint buckle both have these locking plugs attached to them. So you just need to lift that up before you insert it. Slide the tabs in to the mount and slide it all the way in until it clicks in place. I'll rotate the camera back so you can see. Push it all the way in so it cl clicks into place and then you can push down this locking plug. And then you rotate your camera into the location you want. If you see here, the shutter button's on the side. So you want to actually rotate it so that it's at the top or bottom of your frame. Right now I'd get a vertical video. So you can just easily remove your camera from the frame and rotate it like that. Lock it back in place. And you're ready to film. I hope that helps you get started with your GoPro Hero 4 session. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. It's a cool little camera. Super convenient. And if you need more ideas and inspiration, check out my book, How to Use the GoPro Hero 4 Session on Amazon.com. It's got everything you need to know to use this cool little camera. So get out there and have fun.